All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to build a wireless repeater bridge. Um, yeah, let's get started. So first thing we wanna go ahead and do, wireless. Then we're gonna go to basic setup. Once you make it over here, we wanna go ahead and scroll down to 5.0 gigahertz since that's the fastest data. Um, short range, but faster data. We're gonna go ahead and set this one. So we're gonna say, so here, we're gonna say repeater bridge, wireless network mode mixed. Wireless network SSID has to be the router you're connecting to. So for me, it's you have four. You need to be identical. So if there's a capital, capitalize it. If there's a space, space it. We're gonna leave wireless channel to auto. Yep, we wanna leave that to auto. I'll set that to zero. And then we wanna click save, but not apply. So we're gonna hit save. So then for this one, we're gonna use this as AP. And we're gonna say mixed, but we're gonna change this to Yavin 4 as well. Yavin 4, yep. Wireless SSD broadcast, yep. You go over here and hit save. All right, so next we wanna to go to security. And then we wanna go physical interface WPA2 AES yep you don't want to do TKIP you want to set the password for the router there you go but sure we're gonna do it one more time all right so again we're gonna hit save but not apply Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the security for the firewall tab. So security, firewall. Alright. So once you get here, you're gonna unclick every single one of these except filter multicast, and then you wanna go ahead and disable SPI firewall. So SPI firewall, we wanna hit disable. There we go. And then from here you're gonna go ahead and just click save. Do not hit apply. So we're gonna over here and hit save you go services and on the service tab you're going to scroll down here and you're going to look for dns masq and you want to disable it you want to do the same thing you're going to save and you're going to scroll down here and you're going to save but not apply and save we're going to disable the next part is we're going to disable the wan connection so to do that we want to go over to setup basic setup when connection type set to disabled yep okay so from here we're gonna go ahead and say our IP address for this router is gonna be 1.2.168.1.2 and the gateway is 1.192.168.1.2 Dot one, dot one. Local DNS is going to be our 192.168.1.1. Next, you're going to assign the WAN port to the switch. Now you're going to set the time zone. You're going to click NTP client and choose whatever time zone you live in. So next, you want to set the name. Went ahead and did that already. Go down here and we're just going to say save, not apply. So then now we're going to go to setup. We'll say setup, advanced routing. I'm going to say this is a router. And this time we're going to save, then apply. So we're going to scroll down, hit save, and we're going to apply settings. One thing I forgot to show you, make sure you change your channels. So inside your DDWRT, we're gonna go over here to basic setup. We're gonna go over here to wireless. Then we're gonna go over here. And what we're broadcasting is the 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to wide HT40. We're also gonna set your wireless channel to channel six. And we don't need to do anything for uh, the five gigahertz band. Okay guys, now we're gonna go change the wireless 2.4 gigahertz band on the main router. For me, it's my Synology 2600 AC. 
So we'll go over here. Main router's IP is 192.168.1.1. Then we're going to go over here. And then we're going to wireless. Then we're going to set this to channel 11. Already done it. And then you would just go hit apply. Okay, so now what we want to go ahead and do is see if it actually worked. We're going to log back into the GUI. We're going to go 192.168.1.2. That's awesome. All right, guys, that should be it. So let's go ahead and do a speed test. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show you the difference. This is the mini PC connected just to my main router. Jesus Christ. It's even worse than I thought. Oh, God. All right, let's go ahead and run that again, because that can't be right. Okay, so yeah, that's more what I was normally looking at. Anywhere from 10 to 15 megabytes, roughly. So this is originally where I started from. Anywhere from, I don't know, I'd say 10 to 20 megabytes on a good day. Horrible internet connection. Horrible after moving to the garage. Okay, so in the next one, we're gonna go ahead and show you the speed we're getting with the uh, Nighthawk acting as a repeater from our main router. Um, give me a moment, I'll go ahead and get it turned on. So the backbone of this wireless repeating bridge is built on the five gigahertz wireless network. And then the repeating part is only limited by cutting it in half and then having to rebroadcast it at 2.4 gigahertz. So whatever the max of 2.4 gigahertz and then the limitations of then the mini PC itself. All right guys, so this is the speed test for the repeater part of our wireless repeating bridge we built. So this is completely wireless. This is my main router, which is the Synology 2600 AC, connected wirelessly to the Nighthawk AC1900 model R7000. So I showed you how to install custom firmware on your Nighthawk, which we put DDWRT on, and using DWRT, we were able to do this, which you are unable to do with a stock version of the repeater. Let's run the test. Okay guys, this is the final speed test. This is the wireless bridge part of our wireless repeater we built. This is the mini PC plugged into ethernet directly into the Nighthawk router that we installed DDWRT on. Let's see how fast it's running. Oh yeah, so I mean, realistically, I'm getting anywhere from 250 megabytes to 300 megabytes. And at that point, it's literally half of my 600 megabyte network. Um, so yeah, there it is guys. Compared to 20 megabytes, I would take 281 megabytes any day. Well, there it is, guys. You now have a wireless bridge and a wireless AP on the same router. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you want to support this channel directly, you can get your very own Who Built the Cages Joe t-shirt. Stay tuned for tech reviews and tutorials. If you like memes and propaganda, you're in the right spot. As always, my friends, meme on, my friends, meme on.